Hey guys, how is it going? How are you today? Uh, we will try out another Hunter deck at the moment and it is Jackie Chan's Spell Hunter deck. I just needed to change one card, so for your information, um, in the original decklist there were two Berkeley Bullies. I only have one at the moment, so I thought what else could we drop in into the deck that is working great with spells, so I decided just to push in the Yogg-Saron which is another interesting card. We will see if that is working. I'm playing against the Shaman here. So let's keep the quick shot. Drop the Barns and the Giant. Could keep the Barns here, but I'm a bit afraid that the Shaman is going too fast. And why are there two Snipes? Are there two Snipes? Oh yeah. Of course there are two Snipes. Why would you give me two Snipes here for the start? can give me one explosive trap, please. So there's a tunnel truck. And we have the option now to use the quick shot. But there is a chance that he is going for the totem golem. So I really like to drop the snipe. So maybe it was worth it to get two snipes. You never know. Definitely not great to have the Yoxerons here for the start. Because we don't know if we can survive that long. So Jackie Chan played the deck um, on the Legend Ladder, I would uh, say, at least as far as I know. And he won a few games, so it's not that the, the deck is performing super bad. Hmm. The Jade Claws. Spawning a Jade Golem, but that is of course not triggering the Snipe here. So we will use the Quick Shot now. Interesting that he was attacking first and then played the Jade Claws. So he was afraid of the explosive trap. You will not get the explosive trap here. That's for sure. There's a small time buccaneer. So the snipe is killing that small time buccaneer. But because Hearthstone is working a bit differently than other card games, the patches is still coming on the board. Lock and load. Hmm. Can't do that right now. Log and load will be pretty interesting with the bully here. If we can get a few coins, then with the log and load you can create lots of spells. Oh, so that's decent. We are dropping another snipe. Let's play the steady shot two in the face. Let's just hope that there's no faceless coming for four mana. That would be devastating. I mean, we have the hunter's mark here, but right now not another another spell to kill that. And I really want to drop the bully. Uh, that is also bad. Now we can just trade into the bully. We're not getting a single coin then. That's not too great. There's a power shot. Oh yeah, power shot is good. Though so we could clear two wolves here. We could even clear um, everything on the left if we also use the hunter's mark. So we might want to do that. Might want to do that. And he also only has the spirit wolf would make us a bit vulnerable if he's dropping a faceless, but he could have used that last turn. And with the two overloads here from the Spirit Wolves, he only has three mana to go next turn. So we should be pretty safe. At least as safe as it gets against the Shaman. So only has one Wolfie on board. The Jade Claws. Oh, there's a coin. Don't put the faceless here. Wow, he got the faceless. Just got that. Another power shot, which is not decent enough right now. We will go for the bully. So if he's dropping... If he is dropping a spell, we're getting a coin. And if he's not dropping a spell, he should face a hard time to clear the bully. Then he might need to trade. So he is giving us one coin. Dropping a Jade Lightning, clearing that with the Jade Claws. We're getting 9 damage in the face. We have a power shot here, so at least we can kill something. Oh yeah, that's great. So can we play everything? We can, right? Uh, we will go for the Lock and Load. We will go for the Explosive Trap. Getting a Red Pack. Alright, we're going for the Power Shot. We have a Dart Trap which we now can't use, but we still might want to play the coin just to get another card here. We will be able to clear the board. Exit more. 
Interesting. Interesting card. So, going for the phase, we are clearing both units. I mean, we're still down to 12, so... Not in a good position. This one could be interesting. But right now we don't have another spell that would deal damage. That's a lava burst. And yeah, give me double lightning bolt, please. Or give me lightning bolt and the spirit close. Why not? Just because of the single spell damage totem here. We were going down. Interesting enough. So the loot is not stopping us from trying again. And of course, again, we are getting a shaman here. Because why not? Uh, let's keep the quick shot. Drop the Hunter's Mark and the Yoxeron. Give me something decent here for the start. Deadly shot and a power shot. And the Barnes. Oh yeah. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Tunnel Rock, so we can kill that with a quick shot. He might play a Totem Golem. We can kill that with a deadly shot. Then we can drop the Barnes. Hopefully find a decent card. I mean, Shaman is such a pain to play against at the moment, so not much you can do. That's a Totem Golem, as expected. Strong card to go. He has then two mana next turn. The Deadly Shot is clearing this one. Then, yeah, Curses indeed. Then he might go just for the Totem here. Oh, yeah, why not give him another Totem Golem? Decent indeed. Uh, we will go for the Barns. Hopefully get something of value, like an Emperor, that would be nice. The gadget is an auction, yeah, that's also nice, but so far we don't have anything to play alongside. And we also have only one spell at the moment, so that's not working too great. Small time Buccaneer, Patches, Power Shot is good enough here, especially if he's dropping another nice unit. Yeah, why not? Feral Spirit. Damn you. So we have the Blood Match Salnos and Snipe. With the Thalnos, the power shot is dealing 3 damage. That's quite a lot. But because of the Feral Spirit, we're now not able to kill everything. So he would either keep the small time Buccaneer or he would keep the Totem Golem. Right now I like to kill the small time Buccaneer then and the Totem Golem has 1 life. So if he wants to kill the Blood Mage, he's also losing the Totem Golem. If we were going for the Totem Golem right away, then uh, for example a Maelstrom Portal would have cleared everything on the board. That is now not the case. So he would need another trade then. He can't. He cannot just drop it, um, a Maelstrom Portal and clear everything. Yeah. Give him the Healing Totem. So I have the trade on the Barns. Explosive shot. Definitely need to prepare for a bigger unit, so the snipe is coming decently. Especially with the Blood Mage Salnos here on board. So all the snipe can deal 5 damage if he's going for example for a thing from below. That is dying. Ether Drake is dying. Um, what else is dying? Good enough stuff, at least. So what not, what's not dying is uh, for example a Faceless. Yeah, there you go, that's a Faceless. So that is not dying. Flame Tongue is also not dying because the snipe is gone. With the explosive shot, we are now not able to clear everything because of the healing totem. That's another pain in the ass. Would have been so nice here to hit that in the middle and then clear everything. That's now not possible. Though we might want to go for the explosive shot here on the left. We could just go for the Drake and hope to find a decent, decent spell. I mean, otherwise it's not changing much, besides we will get hit for 9 next turn, if we're not killing that. If he's just going for the face, the Drake might be pretty good. Mm, I'm a bit afraid here, I have to say. I guess, uh, I guess we still need to prevent the damage. Too dangerous. But because of the healing totem, the flame tongue is just getting healed back. That is not too great. Yeah, well done. Another flame tongue. Why not?
We're gonna drop that Drake here. Quick shot it is. Mm, quick shot is not doing much different. So we could also go for the auction here, of course, but currently that is only drawing us one card, so we might want to go for the Drake. The giant, that's decent. So this one is going down to six. We can take out one of the flame tongue totems here. So only two damage right now on board, but he has a spell damage totem, so stuff like a lightning bolt is good enough to take out the drake right now. This is lava burst. Yeah, hit it. Hit it hard. Tunnel talk up to five damage. We would need another board clearer. Oh yeah, just like that. That's a nice board clearer. Drawing another card. Multi-shot, that's also nice. We might play that next turn with the auction here. Let's go for now for the power shot here. Clearing three units. But he still has his spell damage totem on board, so still a lightning bolt, good enough to take out the Drake. Jade Lightning, he just got this one. Just from the top. Nice draw. And an Emperor. Hmm, Emperor. I like you. Right now the damage output is not too high. So we might just play that here. And let's assume that he's not dropping another Jade Lightning. Yeah, let's do that. Then we could go for the double giant next turn. Well, that's decent value. Another well done. Oh, he's so annoying. Blood Mitsanos. What are you up to? Spirit Claws. That will be 5 damage in your face. And the Melson Portal. Why not? With the tournament attendee. So at least right now he's not pushing too much damage. That is, that is something. World is full of small shit. The shot. The shot is good. We can take out the Blood Mitsanos, for example. That's a good one. We're also drawing another card here. And we have the multi-shot. Multi-shot is also decent. So do we want to take out the Blood Mitsanos here with the shot? And then hope to also hit the spell damage totem. That would be the best outcome. The Salnos is unfortunately giving him another card, so that could be very devastating. Ooh, another shot. Yeah, hey, I like that. Definitely. And the snipe. Even better. So the snipe is good. We are dropping that here. We're drawing another card. Getting the bully, which is also decent. And then we can play the giant for only one mana. So we have a nice board. Getting the spell damage totally again. But he needed to invest two mana. So hopefully that was worth it. So Finley. What will you pick up? Yeah, so Finley is dying for, because of the snipe. Not the greatest target to get. He's choosing the Fire Blast. So kill it, take another 4 points of damage. And Aya Blackpaw. Okay, right now that's only a 2-2 Jade Golem. We are at 15 life and he's at 14. Ooh, and we got the Explosive Trap. That is pretty good. Oh, he will lose everything. Besides the Aya Black Paw. Which is definitely not bad. He will also take another two points of damage. So let's drop the giant here as well. And let's kill these. Um, let's see if he's going to trade. We would need, for example, Aya and two other units. Probably not hitting with the weapon here. If he's just going for the face, he will lose everything. Definitely don't want to use then the other units right now. We might want to play them later. I mean, there's still a chance that he's killing everything. Uh, let's kill. Let's kill this one. Not getting any sort of damage on the giants. Yay! Go for the face. Right. That was the right move. Good. Good move, giant. 
So, what are you doing now? You're now hard losing. Easy peasy. Yeah, well done indeed. Should have traded here. And there's Yoxoran. We're not playing you now. There's a chance that we are just killing our own board. So, that's a victory against the Shaman. Was working. Deck was working. That was good. Hunter versus Rogue. Another OP class with some pirates in it. So we have a Drake here. We don't need that. We have a quick shot and a snipe. Uh, these two are like for the start. So with the snipe, we might pick up maybe an Edwin if he's going for that on turn two. As a 3 3, as a 4 4, sorry. So a snipe could kill that. Also, of course, against Pillagers. That's pretty good. Multi shot and a deadly shot. Many spells in hand. And a coin. I guess we can work with that. The Emperor. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pass. There is a Blood Mage Thalnos. Oh, he's not caring for that. So next turn, there might be, for example, the Agent. If he's just dropping that without the effect, he might play... What else could he play? Questing Adventurer, for example. He might have a counterfeit Koi, go into the Pillager. So I would say this Snipe here is really good right now. We should find some decent targets with that. And if not, we still have stuff to clear a uh, little Blood Mage Salmas here. No problem. Now, are you dropping the counterfeit coin? I mean, he's probably trying to attack first, yeah. Seeing if we have an explosive trap there, which is now not the case. So maybe he thinks that we have a cat there. Cat is always possible. Ah, going for the agent, so as expected, this one is going down. And we also have the Blood Mage Salnos. Hmm. Should we go for that right now? I wouldn't say so. And because the, the cards here all have some special effects when we have the extra spell damage, right now we are not doing anything. The Blood Mage is only dealing one point of damage. So that's not much. We can leave that on board. Not afraid at the moment at least for on that. Ooh, Violet Teacher. Okay, that is more dangerous. That's definitely more dangerous, let's see. Uh, this one is not good enough. Yeah, lock and load. This one could go for that. Otherwise, we would need the quick shot and the deadly shot. But we might need the deadly shot later. If he's going for a huge Edwin, the deadly shot is so valuable. Especially if he's then using conceal. So uh, we will use the coin here and go for the explosive shot. Really wanted to save the coin, but we can't leave the Wily Teacher here on board. Definitely don't want to have a board full of small little stuff on board. Small time Buccaneer. Patches. A dagger. That will be it. If that's it, we might just go for the multi shot. That's an option. Hunter's Mark. Yeah, that's good. So it will be the multi-shot. We might then play the Emperor next turn. Which would reduce four spells here. And three can be played alongside the lock and load. So we should draw quite a lot of cards. Molten Buckney again. And one more in the face. And of course another dagger so that the small time Buckney here is back to three attack. Another quick shot. Yeah, that is really great. That is super, super valuable. We have the Blood Mage Salnos for one. So we can play, for example, Lock and Load, then the Blood Mage, and then the Quick Shots here are dealing four damage each. And right now, everything in our hand is only costing uh, six mana. So we could play everything. And then the Quick Shots would also draw another card. We will get one card draw here next turn. But that might be another cheap one, like another Hunter's Mark or the Khan Shot. So it's possible to draw every to play everything. Thank you. I mean, we're getting new cards from the Log and Load, so uh, we will not draw anything. Indeed. 
the quick shot. Ah, doesn't matter. So that was a backstab. Pillager is coming on board. Small time Buckney is gone. I mean, this one is still dying. Power shot. Yeah, why not? Let's go for the lock and load. The Blood Mage Salnos. We will play the quick shot here. Hopefully we're getting a few secrets. Yeah, just like the snake trap. We can drop more stuff on board. Infested wolf. Nah, quick shot is hitting the face. So we're getting another card. Red scale. Oh, interesting. So we have a snake trap here. He's already played one um, fan of knives. So that is gone. If he's not playing a second one, or if he's not playing second one right now in hand, the snakes should be very good at the moment. Getting another card here from the blood mage. The giants should be pretty low yeah, at four right now. That's good. And that will be everything. Oh boy. I like that. Uh, let's just drop the giant and the infested wolf. Three in the face. Step on the giant here is not doing that much. He's still at four. So we can just drop him next turn again. Drake. What are you up to? So he is using the zap. That one is going back into the hand, but it's just coming back next turn. No problem. Eviscerate into the face. Really? And a hit in the face. So what will you play next turn? You have five cards right now. And with another giant. So that could be a problem. Maybe he's going for some decent stuff and then concealing. So that shouldn't happen in here. And we will go for the auction here. We will use the Hunter Hunter's Mark here. We're keeping the deadly shot because if he's going to conceal a huge Edwin or other huge stuff, we want to have the deadly shot to kill that. Drawing a card here because of the Gatsuzan auction here. We can then kill this unit. We can play another giant for three now. And that's hitting for five in the face. It's down to 15. And right now we have uh, 50, uh, 17 damage on board, so that's quite a lot. Plus a hero power. So more than he has life. That's coin, that's a coin. Golden coin, backstab. Okay. Four cards left, Leroy Jenkins. Oh, you're not killing us here, right? Preparation. Maybe another zap. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. So, he's dying. That's another victory with the deck. It is working indeed. We can do that. So, nearly back to rank 6. But, anyway, that will be the end of today's episode. Deck is not always working against the OP shamans. Maybe not. But, otherwise, it's rather fun and interesting to see more or less good hunter deck in action. So, you're not seeing that many hunter decks on the ladder. So, if you want to play a hunter deck, maybe... This one is the right one, and as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, normally you should play two Berkeley Bullies, and that's the, not the Yorksaron, but I've dropped it in because I don't have another Bully, so it is working with the Yorksaron, but we haven't played them in this uh, three games, so maybe not the best choice. Maybe you want to drop in something different, try it out, and give me feedback in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.